Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Looking at another question relating to inclines, here we have a sum where an object is pushed up a slope with friction. So looking at the question we read, a crate of mass 100 kilograms is pushed up a slope with a force of 700 newtons. The slope is at an angle of 30 degrees. A frictional force of 90 newtons acts on the slope. The question is calculate the net force acting along the slope. So when we're talking about along the slope, we're talking about uh, the object sliding up or sliding down the slope. So we said that referring to the slope, we're taking the x direction in reference to the slope is the direction um, parallel to the slope. So looking at the forces that are acting on the slope, the most obvious force acting on the slope is the gravitational force. And the gravitational force can be broken up into two components. The x component of weight, Wx, and the y component of weight, Wy. And we said that if you want to work out the x component of the weight, it will always be Wx is equals to W sin, uh, sin theta, and the Wy will always be equal to W cos theta. But because we're only looking at the forces acting along the slope, we won't worry about the Y component of weight. So we take the Y component of weight out. So we can see that we have an X component of weight, which we can place here on the top. So, so Wx is equals to W sine theta is one of the forces that are going to pull the object down the slope. But we see that in our question, we see that the object is pushed up a slope with a force of 700 newtons. So we have an applied force and the applied force is 700 newtons which is pushing the object up the slope. And we see that Wx, the x component of weight, is pulling the object down the slope, so we can take the weight component away. And then going further, we see that there's a frictional force of 90 newtons acting on the slope. So the friction of 90 newtons acts opposite to the motion. So because the object is sliding up the slope, we can see that there's a frictional force of 90 newtons that will act down the slope. So this is important. Friction will act in opposite to the direction of the motion of the box. The box is going up the slope, so friction will act down the slope. So now if we write down our equation relating to the, what we have here in front of us, we can see that our net force, F net, is equals to the applied force which pushes the object up the slope plus the frictional force which acts in the negative direction which pushes the object down the slope plus the x component of weight which also pushes the object down the slope. So because forces are vectors we can say the x direction up the slope is positive and down the slope is negative. So our, the, our applied force in this case here, if you look at our applied force, our applied force is 700 newtons and our frictional force is 90 newtons. So we've got 700 newtons applied up the slope and the frictional force opposes the motion. So it acts in a negative direction. So it is minus 90 newtons. And we see the, uh, the component of weight, the X component of weight also acts in the opposite direction. So that also must be subtracted. So that will be W sine theta and we'll work that out it's 700 minus 90 which is 610 so we've got 610 newtons minus w which is mg which is 100 times 9,8 times sine of the angle of the incline which is 30 degrees and We've discussed this in a sum before, so I won't go into the details relating to it. So this becomes 610 minus 490, and that will give us the answer to our question, which is 610 minus 490, which gives us 120 newtons. So we see that the net force acting on the slope is 120 newtons. So what this means is that although 
the person is applying a force of 700 newtons, only 120 newtons is used to push the object up the slope. Now this is important that we realize the forces acting in the parallel uh, parallel direction, those are put, that, are, that are pushing the object up the slope and down the slope because that will help us in calculating the work done relating to the object. The next question says, calculate the net work on the object if it is pushed 15 meters up the slope. So work net is equals to F net delta X cos theta. So our network, if they didn't tell us to do question one, we would have had to do it uh, in any case using all the rationale that we used in point one. But now because we did it, we shortcut, uh, we have it done for us. So it's 120 newtons times 15 meters. And we to work out the cos theta, we know that this box is going up the slope and the force is also up, so it's in the same direction. So that becomes cos of zero degrees. So that will be the cos of zero degrees, which is one. So we get 120 multiplied by 15 times one will give us 1,800 joules. So that is the amount, the net work used in moving the object up the slope for 15 meters. So this is an important sum in working out and understanding questions relating to inclined planes. Thank you very much for watching.